Mr. Steele should uh, Reed step down, and how objectionable do you think his remarks well, are? Well, I think I think he should. I mean, if the standard is uh, the one set by the Trent Lott incident, where he was wishing happy birthday to Strom Thurmond, uh, and talked about him as a possible president uh, at the time, you know, 1948 or whatever, compared to calling a candidate for president, uh, you know, light-skinned Negro. The reality of it is this, that there is this standard where Democrats feel that they can say these things and they can apologize when it, when it comes from the mouths of their own. But if it comes from anyone else, it's racism. Ra it's either racist or it's not, and it's inappropriate, absolutely. So if the standard is the one that we saw with Trent Lott as speaker, as a leader at the time, then I think this absolutely falls in that category. It's more than just an apology here. It's a reflection of an attitude. Now, remember, this is the same uh, leader who just a few weeks ago was talking about health care in the context of slavery. Clearly, he is out of touch, not only with where America and his district are, but where, how African Americans generally feel about these issues. Governor Kane? Well, I would just go back to it. If, if you look at those comments, they clearly were in the context of praising uh, Senator Obama as a great candidate and a great president. Negro dialect, light skin, that well, that, and, phrase. And it actually, if, if you look at the comments, and you, and you read those, those specific the, words, that those, phrase, particular, those particular words, the senator has said he regrets them and they weren't appropriate. And the important thing is the president right away said, this is a closed book because I know Senator Reed's heart. I know the kind of person he is. Um, and, if, and as you read the comments earlier, I think they are a fair representation. They were supporting uh, the senator as a great leader and as a great president. And that's why Senator Reed and President Obama have worked so well. Well together uh, to get America really going back the right direction in the last if year. Mitch McConnell has said those very words that this chairman and this president would be calling for his head and they would be labeling every Republican in the country as a racist for saying, and saying exactly what this chairman has just said. So if I sat here and said what he just said, if Mitch McConnell used those words, no one would find it to be credible. And it's, so if it's not credible for me saying it, it's certainly not credible for the Democrats to sit back and go, well, it was in the context of saying something nice. If it's, a, it's an old mindset when you're using language in, in a 2008 that hell harkens back to the 1950s and 60s. This, it's refreshing, it's exciting to be able to go out there and, and stir the pot up and push the party. We were well, let me give you an well, example. Let, 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 let me, me give you an example point. of stirring the pot, the, the pot up, if I may, Mr. Mm -hmm. Steele. Some people say, Republicans, that one of the reasons that you have difficulty talking about racial slurs is that perhaps you made one of your own this week. Mm -hmm. Let's put up what you said on Hannity this week. Platform is one of the best political documents that's been written in the last 25 years. Honest engine on that. Congressmen of both parties say that's a racial slur. Well, I, if it is, I apologize for it. It's not an intent to be a racial slur. I wasn't intending to say a racial slur at all. The reality of it is that's not the same as what we were talking about before. That's not saying I'm some loose cannon and wild, you know, dog out here running around not being able to be controlled. The reality of it is I'm trying to push our party to take its head and lift it up point to the future and move forward.